Hi, I'm Deliza, I'm 15 years old, and this is my dream quinceanera story. Today, I'm gonna be looking back at my quinceanera. It's almost been a year since I started planning and did my own little episodes on my channel inspired by Awesome Miss TV. So if you guys haven't seen my episodes on my channel, make sure to go check them out after you guys watch this one. Planning my quince wasn't stressful at all. The only thing that was really stressful was my dress. I got really nervous because I started having really bad dreams of my dress. I went with the lady and I was like, you know, I give her a picture. I gave her a lot of different pictures of what I wanted the dress to be and whole like one whole dress. And it was definitely really hard for me because I was stressing about that because I was like, oh my god, what if my dress comes out really ugly? What if it's not the one I want? It's easier to pick out a dress at stores because you already have it right there in front of you. But custom making your dress is really, really like stressful. When I first saw my dress, um, I actually was so nervous. I only saw the back of it and the back had a big bow and I was like, mm, that looks ugly. Like I just didn't like it at the moment because I didn't try it on. And then once I tried it on, I fell in love with my dress. I felt like it was my dream dress. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved how she put so much glitter into it, the sleeve. It was literally like my dream dress and she did exactly how I imagined it to be. But definitely like when I first saw it, I was just kind of like, well, this is kind of not what I asked for. But I'm glad she actually put the bow in the back because it, I felt like it was a good touch to my dress. Um, when I came out of my dress, no one has actually seen my dress. I kept it a secret because it's a, like a wow moment when you see my dress. So when I walked out, my abuelita, she was there and she was like, Oh my god, like you look so pretty. And I felt like everybody just had that wow moment because of how blingy my dress was and how big it was. A lot of people were like, wow, your dress is so big. I didn't even imagine it to be so big. And they were just really like, it was like a wow moment for them to see me in my dress. And when I walked out. The theme of my quince was kind of vaquera, rustic look. I also wanted to go very elegant, really blingy. So I kind of had like a lot of themes if you actually think about it. It was mostly vaquera though. I really wanted everyone to wear botas. I wanted to be very rustic and like I love horses. Like horses are my favorite animals. I love riding them. I love everything about horses. So I really wanted it to be vaquera. The morning of my quince, I was very emotional. My tío passed away a couple years back and I just always told him I wanted a quinceañera since I was a little girl. So I was definitely like really sad and emotional because I wish he would have walked into my room the day of my quince. But I tried to include him as much as possible because he was a really important person in my life. And he wasn't there physically, but I felt like he was there emotionally. Like I felt like the whole day he was over there watching us going to go visit him at his grave. It was really emotional. We actually let go 15 balloons. Um, 14 were blue and one was white. Um, the white one was him and I was a 15, I was a 14. And I just always wanted to do that. So it was, it got me really happy when I did that. And so was my grandparents. They were really happy, but they were emotional as well. I chose to like show it because I know a lot of people celebrate these kind of celebrations without a family member. And I know it's hard. I know it's something that you wish they were there and like I felt like a lot of people actually needed to hear my story of my Theo passing away because they always thought, you know, Deliza has having a big quince and everything's perfect but I felt like deep down inside it was hurting that my Theo wasn't going to be there and I know that's, a, th that's the case for a lot of people. They have big parties like quinceañeras, sweet sixteens and they don't have the person, a really important person there with them so it's like hard and I just really wanted to show that. And I felt like it was, it was good for me to show that to you guys. I chose 10 chamberlanes for my quinceañera because I just really wanted a good big court. And I didn't want girls because I feel like girls kind of take the attention of the quinceañera. And I felt like that was the purpose of a quinceañera, to have like the spotlight. At first, I was going to have five girls and five boys. My mom was the one who convinced me to only have guys. And I'm glad I did because I definitely love having just guys, I felt like I had the spotlight to me. I didn't have a main chamberlain because I didn't want to like pick one because I felt like one of them was gonna be like, oh, I wanted to be your main chamberlain and you know, get all sad that he wasn't. So I just decided to dance with each and every single one of them. I didn't want a main chamberlain. I didn't want one guy to just be in all my pictures basically. And I kind of liked that idea of not having a main chamberlain. 
my current boyfriend was actually part of my quinceanera but we weren't dating we weren't talking we were like literally nothing i would call him my brother and he would call me his sister which was kind of weird because now we're dating but um yeah like he came out of my quince because i was always super super close to him i had a really good bond with him since the beginning of our friendship so I included him in my quince and actually the next day is when we started dating or talking because um, I didn't want a boyfriend like during my quince because I wanted to live you know that day as much as I can I wanted to dance a lot I wanted to dance with every guy I can um, with a lot of my guy friends and my cousins without a guy being like in the corner of my quince like all mad because like he's getting jealous so my boyfriend and I just decided to kind of wait on that because he actually told me he liked me but I just never really like was like hey you know I don't want a boyfriend now Um, when I first walked into my venue, the first thing I thought was, where's my mom? Because my dress was coming apart. I was looking around and it just looked so beautiful. I love how they did, they like did everything. They went with the theme I wanted, which was rustic but yet elegant. And I started going around each and every single table, like, you know, welcoming my guests because I felt like that was kind of, you know, nice, of, nice for me to do because they took a second of their, you know, time to come to my quinceanera. So I definitely like went around and, you know, greeted everyone and then also was looking at the little details they put at the centerpieces and all of that. I was so excited to come out like I was so like hyped. my friends were like oh like yes like, yes girl and I was like oh my god I'm so excited for this part and right when I take the first step the guy in the back with the tua he actually steps on my tail and I was just like I didn't know what to do. I was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm gonna grab it and I'm just gonna keep dancing. I kept on dancing. I kept the same energy. I just act like, you know, my tail didn't even rip. I just was like, you know, whatever. I can't go back, you know. So I just kept on dancing. I kept, you know, trying to hype up the crowd. After that happened, I just ripped it off. I didn't even want it on me. I was like, you know, I don't want it on me because after that I had my vibes. So I was like, oh, I can only imagine how many people are gonna be stepping on my tail. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take it off. It it was good as. It was good while it lasted, so I just took it off and I just danced like that without my tail. It was definitely like a challenge trying to learn each step with each of my chambelanes for my butts because I felt like each and every single one of them had their own way of dancing. So it was hard for me to pick up their steps and definitely like I was just like, okay, like now him, what's his step? What's his step, you know? Um, so for the practices, it was kind of challenging trying to like get to know you know each of the dances with everyone but thank god for the day of my quince everything came out amazing i love how my bodice turned out i definitely did have butterflies dancing with my boyfriend like when he turned me like that i was like oh my god i don't want him to leave me like i wanted to dance the whole thing with him because i was just so in love with him i was like oh my god but definitely every time i danced with him it was i felt like the connection there i was like oh yeah we have a vibe we have a vibe so for the father and daughter dance, I included my grandpa, my stepdad, and my mom. So when we were planning my quinceanera, my mom asked, reach out to my dad asking for him to help us. And my parents were no longer together since my dad was in prison. And I had a really strong bond with my dad. But once he got out, we just went, he went his separate ways. Um, he just decided to stop helping and he didn't come to the day. He didn't come to my quince the day of my quince. It was really hard at the beginning, but I learned you know that my mom was always gonna be the person who's always gonna be there for me since I was a little girl I felt like I was even more happy just to have my mom and my grandparents there I was really grateful that they were there for me it was really emotional because while I was dancing he was just telling me that he's so proud of me that of what I became and it was really emotional and I just started like crying I was like oh my god I don't want to grow up no more like I was waiting for that day but when the day hit, I was like, oh my god, I don't want this day to like pass. I don't want, you know, I really enjoyed every second of it. And especially the father and daughter dance, it was really important to me. So one of my chamberlanes actually, it was five minutes before my surprise dance. And I was getting ready to change into my second dress. And I was in the bathroom and my friends were helping me. I was in a rush because my 
choreographer was like, you know, we have to do this on time if you want to get done with everything so people can start dancing. You know, we have to get it over with. So I was already excited. And then I don't know where I hear my chambelanes like all like panicking. And they're like looking for me. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So when I go outside, I see that all my chambelanes are literally like squished inside the boys' bathroom. And I was like, what is going on? So I asked one of my chamberlanes, he's like, you know, your cousin fainted in the bathroom. And I was like, he what? And then he's like, yeah, he fainted. I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do now? Like, he's my chamberlan, like, I didn't know what to do. And he was like on the floor, fainted. And I was like, oh my God. And like, people were trying to like give him food, give him drinks. But then, thank God, after that, he was good. And he just ate and then we were ready for the rest of the night. Yeah, when he performed, he did amazing. He, I felt like that helped him because he did so good. Like he was, he popped off. I was like, I was dancing, but I would see the way he was moving. I was like, oh, he's trying to take the spotlight. Like I thought girls are trying to do that, but he did amazing. I feel like I'm a really confident person. Ever since I was a little girl, I love dancing. I love going to like family parties and they'll play music and I'll be like the first one dancing. And I just always love dancing, but definitely like having the spotlight that night was like oh my god like it's my night you know so um my confidence really outshined that night i danced literally the whole night since i started to the end and my legs the next day were bad like i was so tired i just couldn't dance no more my quinta experience was amazing literally everything i was going through my head was like wow like i can't believe like you know the day's here i can't believe i'm like living the moment i can't believe i'm living my dream when i was on top of the stage i was dancing with my grupo and i would just look at the amount of people that were there and it was insane to see so much people to see them like dance a year from now i would definitely say that i wish i can relive the moment I love how my parents organized it. I'm like really grateful that they, they did everything they could to make my night so special. This was definitely my dream quinceañera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below what was your favorite part of my quince or even your thoughts about my quince. Also make sure to go to my channel to go see some of the footage that is on my channel of my dream quinceañera. And make sure to subscribe to my dream quinceañera for more. Okay, bye guys!